all of us in rec class, we picked our like 15, 20 favorite teachers and then we went and asked them. Most of them said yes, which was really awesome. So yeah, that's how we picked our like 10 favorite teachers that we were going to apply. Right, it looks like a bunch of guys behind me. Where's, yeah. where's all the ladies? Yeah. We did ask some ladies. They were not as willing, I think, but there was more guy teachers anyways that we picked. We're raising money for the BC Cancer Foundation. So um, we're going to auction off the teachers, and then the people who um, do the highest bids get to buy their teacher, and all the money goes to the BC Cancer Foundation. Three, two, one. Looks like you got some lemon meringue in there. I got some something. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's not bad. Not bad, yeah. So why did you choose to do this? Oh, gosh. For for the cause, for, for the school, you know, I mean, even if it's only a couple of bucks, it's it, it's all worth it. And and uh, you see the energy in here, and it's, it, it's just a great event. Oh, it was an amazing experience. Can't wait to do it again. It tastes so good. What's it taste like? You're, you're kind of a blur right now. Mainly just vanilla sugar. Yeah, who doesn't want that? Now, there's um, not a lot of female teachers here. You're the only one right now. Why do you think that is? More are coming, I think. Um, I don't think they understand the the effect, the positive effects this will have on the face once they realize. Yeah, they'll be out in droves. <laughs> Forty-two dollars. Yeah, you're a popular guy today. Uh, the vice principals are always popular. I was a little worried the secretaries might line up in there, but no, apparently not. Vice principal's always the guy that has to hand out the discipline, isn't it? That's right, that's right, yeah. No, you know those two guys? Yeah, they both play rugby for me, so they're, uh, they're uh, yeah, they're good kids. No, it's all in good fun. It's a good cause. Me and a couple other students went to these teachers and asked them, and a lot of them respectfully declined. But, um, yeah, most of them were really willing to do it, and it's for a good cause. Um, you could tell that some teachers got more bids than others. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's all in, in the spirit of Cancer Week, so yeah. I think it's all a ratio of how much homework you give them, right? Really, yeah, it truly is. But it was funny because uh, our vice principal got the highest bid, I think. So Isn't that the guy that hands out all the discipline in school? Yeah, it is, and all the speeding tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Payback. Three, two, one! Bit. Which teacher did you choose today and why? We picked our biology right, teacher, Mr. Lashuk, and we kind of just decided he needed a pie in the face. Five bucks, five bucks. <laughs> you didn't give you some uh, a homework assignment you didn't approve of or anything? Oh, we Too many assignments, I think. <laughs> was it fun? Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it's a good cause, on, so it was fun. I didn't get any in the ear, that's all I was worried about. I don't have to worry about hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours comes off Why? easy. That is so awesome. Oh. 55 bucks, you're, you take the title of the most popular, I guess, teacher. Uh, I guess if you invoke strong feelings of love or hate, you can get lots of money. I don't know which one I'm invoking, I'll, I'll go with the love. Was she your, one of your students? She was. She was a former student uh, last year, science. Did you give her a lot of homework then or what? I guess I must have. What kind of school throws an event where you pie a teacher in the face and the teacher is actually willing to get pied? So it's really awesome and um, hopefully this is a tradition uh, that will carry on for the next years because it's a new one this year. We do the drive through breakfast but that's early in the morning and not all the students participate so this is one way for kids to have fun at lunch in the sun, eating ice cream and um, pieing their favorite teachers. How do you get the teachers on board? They actually love it because it's their favorite teacher that they're pieing. So it's not not the ones that they don't like, it's the ones that they do like. So it's a, it's a bit of a, a respect thing. I noticed you weren't in there. No, I was uh, selling freezies. <laughs> Were you? Or maybe they don't they don't like me. <laughs> Chris Cochran, who's the, the brother of Connor Cochran, um, made a speech yesterday about uh, his story and what he's studying now and his job. And uh, it's kind of all related to cancer. And uh, it was a great way to start the week tying our fundraising in with all the research that's going on. That's a that's a touching story, isn't it? I mean, he was a student here and he, he passed away from cancer. He was a, a student here and he didn't make it to his grade 12 year. And uh, we've been doing Cancer Awareness Week ever since. It's a personal note with me, actually. We uh, One of our sons, who's now in university, had cancer. 
uh, testicular cancer, so we battled it for a year. And uh, so I've lived it, and uh, I don't want anyone else to live it. So anything I can do to help out is, is uh, pretty much why I'm here. This week has been emotionally challenging for a number of my students, and um, they've told me some stories about their own family members, and so I'm out here to support them. I don't know how you can say no. I mean, cancer touches everybody in one way or the other. I've had it directly linked in my family, both with breast cancer and colon cancer. So, I mean, any time you can come up with uh, money to help further the research and the cause, I don't know how you can say no, especially when kids are involved and it's having a good time. There's students that come to class who aren't even in the class and that's just how like rec kind of travels throughout our whole school. Next week we have a golf tournament at Gallagher's and uh, it's, it's nearly full and um, we're looking forward to that because we have tons of prizes and, and it's all organized by the rec leadership students. So um, it should be a good time. And uh, if people want to contribute still, they probably can or find more information about it by going to your website? There's a link on the front page of uh, the home page of uh, the KSS website. And uh, it goes on all week and uh, till the golf tournament next week.